Hey there Magic Geeks, Julian here back with another video and today we're going to talk about how you can connect your Google Tag Manager account to a consent solution so you can fire your tags based on the consent of the user who visited your website. Now right up front I need to let you know that this is in no way a legal advice video in any way. The demos that I set up here are maybe a little bit simplified so we will be able to get through it quite quickly and it might be applicable for your case but obviously there are many different consent solutions out there there are many different jurisdictions many different countries out there that have different other privacy concerns and interpret the law maybe a little bit different so your mileage may vary in terms of going through this you always need to be flexible and adjust I think you can do this now this implementation is probably more on the advanced side of the whole tracking thing because there are little many different little variables that go into this and this video has become longer than I thought that's why I split it up into four parts in this first part we are going to set up our cookie consent banner with the help of Google Tag Manager in the second part we are going to connect the cookie set consent banner with our Google Tag Manager implementation so Google Tag Manager is aware of the consent that has been given by the user and in the third part we are going to connect our Google Tag Manager with our tags so the triggers are correctly configured so they only fire in certain circumstances based on the consent of the user itself. And then in the fourth part we are going to look at a new feature within the Google Tags which is called Consent Mode where we will be able to control and manipulate how our tags like Google Ads or Google Analytics react to the consent state and in terms of sending data over. So that will be an interesting one as well at the end here. Now we will be publishing these videos step by step, week by week. If you want to already skip forward to the next video and see this in the whole length, you can actually go over to measureschool.com slash consent where we have the full length video as well as some more downloads and resources for you to check out as well. So head over to measureschool.com slash consent. Now we got lots to cover. So let's dive into setting up our consent banner with the help of Google Tag Manager. All right, to get started, we are here on our demo shop where we want to install a cookie consent solution. Now there are many cookie consent solutions out there and it might differ how to implement them, but I have opted here to use the free version of Claro, which is an open source project as well, which you can use to install such a cookie consent banner on your website. There's also a paid version, which you can check out, but here on the GitHub repository, they give you already the right codes that you have to install on your website in order to get started with this. Again, this might differ for the tool that you are using, but probably you can do it in a similar way. So if you wanna follow along, you can go over to this GitHub repository, which I'm also going to link up down below, and you need to install these codes and grab them from here. And what this tool will not do for you is actually audit your site and know which tools you want to deploy on your website. You would need to have a look of what cookies actually are being set. For example, if you go into the developer tools here under developer tools, and then you go to the application tab, and here you can see all the cookies that are being set on your site, which are relevant, which shouldn't be set without prior consent. This needs to be audited. A lot of these tools do this automatically via a scan, and it's actually part of their service as well. So it might be worth going with a paid service in order to know which cookies you actually need to include in your consent banner as well. And also in order to spin this to the end, you also would need to have a privacy policy where all the functions are stated as well. Now we are going through a technical implementation here, so I won't go into the legal sides of how to set this up, but be sure to have all of your bases covered. We are going to go through a very simple example here. I have Google Tag Manager installed and we have Facebook ads, Google Analytics for running and Google ads conversion linker and the remarketing code. So what if you wanted to put this all under the watch of a cookie consent banner? So again, what we would need to install are the codes right here and then also a style sheet and we need to include a config file and this config file as well has all the different configurations where you would also be putting in what kind of tools you are using and how they are classified. So for example, in this example here, we have like an inland tracker analytics tool with external tracker intercom and so on. You would need to list them out in this config file as well. The cool thing about Claro, we can actually grab this file and put it all into Google Tag Manager and deploy the whole consent solution through Google Tag Manager. Now I have a little bit of a code prepared here already. So I'm gonna copy this and put it into Google Tag Manager. We'll just go with a new tag here 
and tag configuration. And again, there are other solutions out there. Claro doesn't have a template just yet, but there are templates for some of the consent solutions. Here, we're just gonna go for our case with the custom HTML tag, and we're gonna paste in my code. So again, this is the config file that you saw earlier. And then underneath we have our libraries that need to load and the style sheet as well. So this is our consent solution, Claro. And we want to fire this on all pages, but we are going to use the new triggers of consent initialization, which is the first event that fires on a page. So we can see this here, consent initialization is the first event. And that's when we want to fire our banner as well. So let's put this in place and click save and then preview this. So on our page, we now get our cookie consent banner. This is all configured through the code that you have just seen. So if you want to change anything around, we just have a very easy a consent on additional services for marketing and analytics. If you click on let me choose, you also get these consent settings where we have marketing tags that are being deployed Google ads and Facebook ads. And then for analytics, we have Google analytics here. This is obviously all boilerplate text and you would need to adjust this depending on your case. All right, so that already works. If I now click on accept all here, for example, Example, we get our little animation and our cookies are accepted. What does this actually do? In most cases, this consent choice has been saved somewhere in the user's browser. Where is the somewhere? Well, in cookies. So if you go over to your developer tools, again, here under more tools, we go to developer tools. You can go to application right here. In this tab, you can find on the left side your cookies and your domain where the cookies should have been set. In our case, we have here a Claro cookie and that cookie is URL encoded. So it normally would look like this, but we can check that box and we can actually read it here. So Google ads is now true. Facebook ads is now true. Google analytics is now true. Now for some consent solutions, they actually do it differently and write the whole thing into the local storage. So you would need to check your local storage if you find any value in here that would show what the user has consented. Too. And if we actually delete this cookie and reload the page, we get our consent here as well. It's a little bit harder to read with tag assistant here. But what if I decline, click here on decline and let's look for Claro again. Here we have our Claro cookie. And now it says Google ads false, Facebook ads false and Google Analytics false. It's important that you understand this mechanisms of how your cookie consent banner works. So you'll be able to read from that place and fire your tags later automatically based on the consent that was given or declined by the user. So how do we now connect this to Google Tag Manager? Well, we would need to pull in this information into Google Tag Manager. We can do this easily by using a variable and that variable is of the type first party cookie. What is the cookie name? Well, here's the name of the cookie. It's just called Claro. And here we are going to put in a name for this. So this is our Claro cookie. And let's save this and now try this out. Go into preview. The page loaded. Our cookie is still written. So there's no new consent banner that is shown. And upon initialization under the variables, we now see our Claro cookie here. It pulled in this information. Now this is URL encoded information. So a little bit harder to read. What we can do actually in the variable itself as well is to decode this by checking this box and if I preview this again, we should now have a little bit cleaner version of this. Okay, so now we pull this in and we can use this cookie to already build, for example, triggers of that or know if the user has consented to Google ads or to Facebook ads only and utilize this later on in the process of building out an implementation, whereas our tags fire on the right consent given. In our video series here, we are going to utilize the new consent overview mode, which gives you a second part of triggers right here that you can utilize. And we'll talk about this in the next video. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can deploy your cookie consent banner with the help of Google Tag Venture on your website. Now, in the next video, we are actually going to take a look at how we can now take the consent that the user has given us and transfer that over to Google Tag Manager so we can base our tags and our triggers on this consent. We will utilize a new feature within Google Tag Manager, which is called Consent Overview. 
and how to connect this all will be in the next video, which you may already see over here if it's already available, or if you wanna see the full series with some extra downloads as well, head over to measureschool.com slash consent. We have everything there. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.